Who would have thought a chicken sandwich could cause such an uproar? When the Christian owner of a national restaurant chain spoke out about what he believes, it ruffled a lot of feathers. Because what he believes is that marriage is the union of one man and one woman, period. Christians believe that because God says it in His Word. And that makes it a controversial statement in some circles. To rabid liberals and atheists, it's more than controversial. It's fighting words. They call on their powerful political friends to threaten the business. Some elected officials actually said they'll block business licenses to operate in their cities. Maybe these guys need a quick civics review about the First Amendment to the Constitution. The First Amendment protects citizens against government action that would suppress free speech and the free exercise of religion. Luckily, there's one surefire way to deal with elected officials who attack Christian beliefs and ignore the First Amendment. Vote them out of office. On every government level, national, state, city, community, we'll have the opportunity to take our beliefs and values into the voting booth on November 6th and to vote accordingly. To expand on Dietrich Bonhoeffer's statement that not to speak is to speak and not to act is to act, we can also say that not to vote is to vote. If we want to see change in our nation, we have to vote to put godly men and women in office who respect the Constitution. It's up to us. So don't be chicken. Register and vote. Go to www.shevotes2012.org. This is a Get Out the Vote project of Concerned Women for America.